do you suck at dodging? Do you think enemies do too much damage? I certainly do. Do you want to get better at combat with little to no skill? Well then, this Ken, the Yosh Ken, has a solution for you. It involves a great upgrade that I found out recently when I was making my update video. I want to get some boss gameplay footage and I decided to start using the Stasis Pro ability and the Stasis Plus since I misset it, freezes enemies in their place. Now I was like, wait, I could do that with ice arrows. Why is this a good thing? Well, why is this too good of a thing? Why is this labeled as broken, as you would say? Well, you freeze enemies for a heck of a lot longer than an ice arrow would. Well, and what if enemies like this lion slash centaur enemy right here resist ice they don't take any debt they don't freeze from ice and you still want to stun them and have a nice fight against them you just take out your stasis plus ability freeze them and wail on them it is that simple someone's flying he's flying around you and you can't get a hit on him because you have a club type weapon no problem freeze him you think he's about to do a really powerful attack no problem freeze him you just want to get some good damage in no problem freeze him this works on every boss in the game i'm talking about including in the divine beast it works now, a little disclaimer, I don't know if it works for the final boss, I'm trying to get 100% before beating the game, but it does indeed work on every enemy in the game. Not sure about final boss, but every enemy I have ran into, it works. And these lion centaur enemy hybrids are one of the toughest enemies in the game. They have a ton of HP, they do a ton of damage, and the fact that you can stun them, well freeze them, and then if you do enough damage and stun them, makes a huge difference. And the cooldown for this ability is super short. It's only about maybe three seconds at the most. I mean, it's simple to get after you meet Pora and head back to Empa. You can go back to Pora and actually upgrade this with three Ancient Cores. All it costs for the best ability in the game is three Ancient Cores. See that Hitterex big enemy right here? It freezes him for a shorter time, which is around the same time it will freeze uh, Divine Beast Boss, but that's enough time to start a charge attack. That's enough time to hit them with a stun arrow. Again, there's a lot of things it can help with, and if an enemy tries to attack you, no problem, just freeze them. It has no downside to it. This is why this ability is absolutely OP. It will break the game. Well, it already has broken the game. I can defeat any enemy without that much of a trouble now. Enemy's about to attack me with a super attack, no problem. I can just wail on them from a distance or get up close and wail on them. Man, this is such good. This is so good. But this has been your kid, and I hope that you enjoyed this uh, this information. And if you are a bigger channel and you decide to show off this, can you please uh, give credit where credit's due? I, I think I'm probably the first one to put a video up on this. If I'm not, then, well, I discovered it without looking up a video anyway. But... Yeah, this is a really cool ability that you can use. And I haven't seen many people use it. They use ice arrows and all the other stuff. And they don't just wail on enemies like this. So this has been your Ken. The Yosh Ken. And I hope you enjoy this ability. And I hope you start wrecking through the game. Because I certainly will. See you later.